Researchers here in Hawaii are involved in the development of a drug they hope will one day be available to treat Alzheimer's disease. Yeah, the drug is now in clinical trial and patients don't even have to leave their homes to participate. Millions of people in the U.S. are affected by Alzheimer's. It's currently the sixth leading cause of death in the country. Can tv 4s Nicole Tam joins us live tonight with the story. Nicole. Well, Alzheimer's is a disease that occurs when brain cells degenerate and die, causing memory loss and deterioration of other mental functions. Right now, there is no cure, but research teams hope that their results of their investigation can be the start of a cure for the disease. The study is called LIFT-AD. Eligible participants will receive an injection of a new drug once a day for about six months. This drug aims to repair the damage wires that result when brain cells are degenerating. So the brain cells has little branches, if you think of it as little branches. We're hoping that the brain cells that didn't work for a long time could start growing branches again. Dr. Corey Kai Leo is leading the study locally and reports there's five residents participating so far. For him, the mission is personal. His mother died of Alzheimer's about 15 years ago. This is what I spend every day of my life doing, um, you know, in this view, hoping to um, try to find a cure. So I know that I'm at risk. So I'm very invested. Liao says up to 80% of cases are not diagnosed because he says there's stigma associated with the condition in many cultures. Especially with Asian families, you know, let's not talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. So um, what I really would like to encourage our audience is that, you know, if your mom, dad, auntie, uncle, uh, grandma, grandpa have signs of memory loss, if you think that that's not just normal aging, there's a big difference between, I don't know where I left my key to I couldn't drive home. Or Experiment, people must be between 55 and 85 years old, diagnosed with Alzheimer's and fit within a specific range on a memory and MRI test. Reporting live, Nicole Tam, KITV4 Island News.